Hey guys, welcome to the Pixel Gallery add-on tutorial. Today we are going to talk about the Redex Color widget. First, let's drag this champion from the widget panel to the page. What you're seeing is the default view of the widget. The front end is loaded with glitch text effects and tilted image box animation when hovered. The best part, this kind of combination animation effect makes it very appealing to your visitors when they first time land on your web page, and the effects have a long lasting impression. Now for the options, the first option on your left lets you change the number of columns for the interface. The minimum is 1 and the maximum is 6. You may already know how the grid template columns work. Here you can adjust the row gap and column gap scrollbars to change the gaps between the items. Then the three switchers below let you show or hide the title, text, and meta on the gallery. Image size is for customizing the dimension of all images inside the gallery widget. You may customize these options as per your needs. With the link option, you can make the gallery items into clickable images and take your visitors to custom URLs or in lightbox mode based on the option you select. Moving into the items section, you'll find all gallery items listed here. Here you can add more items by simply clicking the add item button. Now clicking on an item box will give you a bunch of options inside. First, you can choose an image for the item. Then change the title text, meta and description text. Once you complete modifying the info of all 6 items here, you are left with an almost complete image gallery. Almost, because we haven't done customizing the appearance yet. So, let's switch into the style tab where we will be styling the widget interface. From the title section, let's change the title color first. There are padding, margin, background color, border, etc. options are available too. To customize the font style, you will need to do it from the typography option. Start with changing the font family, then size and weight, etc. For the text, you can start by changing the color and then directly go for the typography option. Next, from the image section, you can add a box shadow to decorate the images with a 3D like drop shadow. The option lets you change the color, position, blur level and spread of the shadow. The same option is available in hover mode 2 to let you create a drop shadow hover effect. Check that out quickly and confirm the area of the hover effect for the shadow. The last section lets you customize the appearance of the hover window or the model window. First, let's set an overlay color for it. Below there are 4 subsections to separately customize the model title, text, meta and back icon. For the title, let's start with changing the title text color. Then you can configure the text stroke to add more style to the title text. Then go for the typography option to change the font style. The typography option consists of font family, size, weight, etc. options. Once you are done with the typography customizations, move to the meta subsection and let's customize the color of the meta text. Then the same way, customize the typography. Alright, let's do the same type of customizations to the description text to match it with the others. Finally, go into the back icon subsection and change the icon color into white while increasing the icon size with the scroll bar below. Now you can go ahead and minimize the controls and check out how the image gallery looks that we have just created. Hover around to see the animation effects and click on an image item to get inside the lightbox view mode. With the Redex gallery widget, you can be creative and make unique galleries in minutes. That's all for this video, please like, share and subscribe to get updates on new tutorial videos. Until then, stay safe and see you next time.